Welcome back to BRMC's Healthy Connections, and our second special guest today is Ms. Deb Way, who is the director of our acute inpatient rehabilitation unit on, at the hospital. Right. So, Deb, welcome back. We Thank love you. it. You're all festive. <laughs> oh, yes. Your <laughs> holiday sweater, your holiday socks. It's wonderful. So <laughs> I, I'm just a big kid at heart. <laughs> yeah. I think we all are. I know. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> we did some bell ringing recently, and it was cold, but uh, it oh. was fun to do. Oh, Oh, yeah. So I, I think people were uh, contributing, though, to have us stop singing. So, <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> you, eh, you still got the same yeah. good outcome. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Went to a great <laughs> cause. So, what's going on up in uh, our acute inpatient rehab? You always have such wonderful stories to share with us. We have had, this is the coming to the end of our 15th year. Wow. And we have had a remarkable year. We have had um, patients in their 90s that have done well and gone home in six and seven days from hip fractures. Oh, my goodness. Back to their homes with home health. Yeah. You yeah. know, but they're, they're just going and, and healing and moving on. We have such wonderful certified rehab nurses, mm -hmm. and we plan next year to certify four more. And this brings a new level of care that we offer because they learn even more specifically how to deal with the rehab process for a patient, irregardless of age. Which is wonderful. It is. And, and we've talked before. I mean, this is, this is, we're all tracking new snow here because people have never lived as long as they're living. And mm -hmm. it's, we're all sort of in the, the learn mode together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I know that you are just absolutely adamant about having all of your nurses have additional training mm -hmm. and additional certification to attend to those patients to the very best of anybody's ability. That's right. So. And we got a referral um, not too terribly long ago. One of our staff members at the hospital had a family member in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. We brought that patient to us. And uh, yesterday we got another one from the Memphis Med Center. Mm -hmm. the, the children of this individual live close to us. This is where they want him to do rehab. Mm -hmm. We have got to get him here. Mm -hmm. Um, and you get them. And, yeah. And then you get them better, and then they get to go home. I know. And every time every time somebody walks off that unit, mm -hmm. you can just look at the staff, and it's like, yeah, that's why we're here. Mm -hmm. That's why we come back every very, day. Very you know? humbling experience. Oh, it is. Yeah. It is. When you have patients, like, come down here for vacations or to visit family. Mm -hmm and they have an injury and they come to us, you know, they don't know anyone down here but their little bitty family that they came to visit. So we embrace them. They're now part of our family, okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know. And not every place does that by no. any means. No. Uh, I know one of the things that I love to hear is for our own nursing staff to go to other hospitals and then come back and say, oh, my gosh, we do it so well here. Oh, I know. We do make folks family mm -hmm. because we truly believe in it. It's our community. It's our hospital. You know, this is part of our family. It's part of the caring yep. and doing the right thing for our patients. Our culture is such that we embrace all the individuals. And at the time that I'm with you, you are the focus of my world. Mm -hmm. And that's whether you're the therapist, the CNA, the housekeeper in your room, or one of my great nurses that go in and to the rooms. They know that. They, they stay with us about 14, 15 days. By the time they leave, they, that, well, most of them probably tell you I have 12 grandkids, you know. They just know. <laughs> they just know. We just, you know, we communicate. Right. And the healing process is a whole lot more than administering medication and doing vitals. The healing process is valuing that person as an individual mm -hmm. and, and knowing that the interventions you do now are the interventions that will get them home. Mm -hmm to allow them that time to cry if they need it. There's a lot of grief when you're hurt. Right. And but we you don't, give them hope. oh, we do. You all, I've seen it. I've actually mm -hmm. seen it and it's tangible and you can touch it when, they're, when you're on your unit. It's, it's that palatable. Uh, I mean, it's just wonderful. And that to me is 
the epitome of everything that we try to do. Mm -hmm. And if it's that noticeable to you and, and the families, I get good responses from families. Mm -hmm. I hope that everyone would feel that and know that they're valued. Because mm -hmm. I know you could choose to go anywhere. Right. But if you choose to be with us, then we choose to give you 110%. And that's why we like to get the word out because we've always got new people new mm -hmm. to the area, mm -hmm. don't know how many incredible things we have at that hospital, your unit being one, and as you said, 15 years. Yeah. I bet if you talked with the average person, no matter how much publicity has been put out and articles in the paper and radio ads and all of this, would not realize what they've really got because they've had no need for yeah. it. Yeah. So I guess our reminder is always to say, <laughs> when you need us, we're right, right here. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> Everything that's... you need is right here. <laughs> and it it truly is, mm -hmm. you know, and, and you're right. I think a lot of people don't, they hear about us, but it's not something that they focus on or think a lot about because mm -hmm. there is no need. Right. But, but when uh, that need is there mm -hmm. for, for themselves or family members, it is right here. Like the referral I got from Memphis came through a respiratory therapist who happened to know this family in, in Henderson whose mm -hmm. father was injured elsewhere. But they just were able to pull all this together, pass notes, pass my phone number around, <laughs> call me up. You don't know me, but, and, you know, that's all I need to hear. Yeah. You don't know me, but, okay, where are they? <laughs> How can I help, right. you know? Right. And, you know, and thank God it's falling into place, mm -hmm. and uh, I think we're going to be able to do that. And uh, one of the rehab week's um, slogans that we had one year was um, uh, building, you know, Miracles, you know, built rebuilding lives yes. one miracle at a time. One miracle at a time, and you do that upstairs. And you know, all I say upstairs because I'm always thinking yeah. third floor. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But you know that that to me is something that when I see someone walk out, it's like, yeah, mm -hmm. we did mm -hmm. another one. It's what it's all about. Yeah. It's why you get in healthcare in the first place? Right. No one's gotten into it to get rich. <laughs> no. <laughs> No. It is it is from the heart, it's compassion, mm -hmm. and it's called doing what you do, whatever that may be, in whatever capacity, right. to the best of your ability, and then some. I know there's so many places within the, in the hospital, everybody goes way above board. Oh, yeah. yeah. Just truly um, great, caring hearts. I interviewed two people this week for jobs here at the hospital. They are building a home here. They plan to move here, and they mm -hmm. wanted to still be active and to work. And, you know, we we interviewed them. We talked to them. And when they were leaving, um, the lady said to me, I just feel like I need to hug you. And I said, well, then go with <laughs> your dad. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But her comments that she made to me, mm -hmm. everywhere I've been today in this hospital, people have spoken to me. Mm -hmm. um, they've offered to help me if I looked like I was lost. Mm -hmm. And she was a couple of times, and it was great. And and everything that we do, and I sometimes think we may take for granted mm -hmm. that we do it all the time, that maybe it doesn't really matter. Oh, it matters. Oh, it matters. It matters yeah. tremendously. Yeah. Because... We've come up with a slogan. Uh, in 2013, it will be 50 years uh, of it. The hospital will be celebrating its 50th anniversary. And with talking with folks recently that have been there 40 years, I mean, they've seen it since it began mm -hmm. in, in just a couple of beds and a couple of doctors kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I enjoyed hearing stories about how one of the funeral homes, that used to be the ambulance <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was how patients got yeah. there. You know, <laughs> if you had something that was wrong, you called the local funeral home, and they brought you over to the hospital. So, I mean, it's just, and of course, we've come so far since oh, then. Yes. But our yes. slogan is, "Our family taking care of yours," because it was the slogan <sighs> that absolutely, truly fit who we are. It's our true. family taking care of yours. That's absolutely true. Yeah. So and it, it and it is. It's a it's a wonderful hospital. It's a compassionate hospital. Hospital itself is only concrete in a structure. It's what's inside of it. It's it's that heart of the hospital and the heart of the people. And it's kind of like the old saying, you know, 
you can have a house, mm -hmm. but it takes the family and the love to make the home. home. You can have a hospital, mm -hmm. but it takes the caring and the commitment and the drive that we have yeah. that makes BRMC such a wonderful hospital. Absolutely. Well said, Deb. I could not have said that better myself. <laughs> Thank you. That's Thank wonderful. You. <laughs> so any stories you can share with us today? Anything you can think of? I know we've... Uh, we've Here lately, we've had, since it's the holiday season, mm -hmm. we've had a lady that... Um, came down here and I, I did briefly discuss this and she fell and she she broke her hip and all her family in California everywhere they're just no mm -hmm. one's here but she's had a daughter that's been in and out and a son-in-law and they were taking names and they were you know and and I I encourage people you know you write mm -hmm. down whatever you need to write down mm -hmm. if, you, if I need to address something I will and this son-in-law and daughter said to me, we're, we're writing this down because when we write the letter to the CEO, we want to be able to name the people mm -hmm. that have touched our lives and the people that have provided such excellent care. Mm -hmm. And in a world where it's always easy to find fault, mm -hmm. to me this was you know, I, I had tears in my eyes. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, thank you. You know, because they were... That speaks well of uh, them as it as certainly people, does, as people. You know, because they're not... They're going to take their time. They are. Mm -hmm. And she is just doing wonderful. Great. Absolutely wonderful. Great. And and the more that these things happen, I guess the closer it gets to the holidays and all the, the good feelings and the mm -hmm. memories that we all have... I have to always remind myself that this Christmas or this holiday season, we're the memory. Mm -hmm. And we need to make sure that we are giving them what they need and we're taking care of our families and we're helping them get ready to venture back out to home or wherever. And when you think about that, I, I, I looked back on my 10 Christmases mm -hmm. here, and I have memories every year of tragedy turning around and people going home. And I think the story that I would share the most right now, I got a 90-year-old on the floor whose husband is 90-plus, and she broke her hip. And uh, she converses as well as you and I very sharp lady mm -hmm. and she's talking about what she's learning in therapy how well she's doing and they're preparing to go home and to get ready for Christmas with their families and mm -hmm. stuff and I sit there and I'm just humbled I don't know if at 90 I would have the oomph <laughs> to do three hours of therapy a day but you know not yeah. complaining no nope. so as we're embracing this and we're becoming part of their holiday season mm -hmm. memory I hope that they will look back fondly, and they will. Yeah, Deb, will you come and visit us on the show Anytime, in 2013? Donna. You betcha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that you could join us today and share wonderful stories Thank with us. You. Happy New Year to all of, or Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, and Happy New Year to you and yours, Thank and you. Happy Holiday and New Year's to you and yours. We will see you again. We've got one more show, I think, left in 2012, and then we'll be back in the new year. But Deb's coming back in 2013. Thanks so much for joining us. Thank you, Donna. We will see you again next time on BRMC's Healthy Connections.